Okay, hello everyone, my name is Anatoly, I'm founder and producer of Rock Algotki, the best pantyhose magazine on earth. Link is in the description, you can explore the vast collection of photographs and videos that I have created in the last 10 years, two magazines a month, that's huge number of photographs and videos. So ju today, just wanted to show you how do I color process the videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I have, uh, color processing is very interesting, uh, in, very interesting activity because you as an artist, you're trying to highlight the things and make them the most beautiful for the viewer. So here is, wait a second, let me show you. Here is the original footage, not this one, this one. This is the original footage taken with Sony camera on, I think it's 100 FPS. So when it plays on 25 FPS, it's very slow-mo. Let me show you the original video. This is how it looks. This does look already good, yes? <laughs> if you don't know, if you don't want or don't know how to color process the videos, this does already look good, right? However, there is always uh, room to improve, always especially in the video and you know in the visual arts there is always a room to improve so this is a 27 second clip so here it is i have imported it into the adobe premiere pro and as you can see this what i what i've done here is the back video here is the backstage video shot with the second camera and this one first camera is I, i'm going to make a, a fade and a cross and crossing from one uh, camera to another one. This is done like this. I've selected the music. So this is done like this. Look. You see? Let it, let's see once again. Let's see once again. So here it is. Girls posing and uh, this is a handheld camera. It's shaky and stuff. But see, listen. Now, now this is what we're doing. So first of all, I'm doing a lumetric color. This is a lumetric color, color balance. It does look like this. There is a basic correction. If you just turn it off, it becomes a little bit paler, right? So I've just increased the exposure, corrected the color temperature a bit, uh, decreased the highlights because to, to avoid very strong contrast between blacks and whites in the frame. So increase the shadows a bit and that's it. Then I have applied a lot. Applying a lot looks like this. This is a creative SL blue moon lot. So it does look like this. If you just turn it off, you see everything is so purplish and reddish and pinky. This lot helps create a contrast to simplify. What is lot? Lot is a cinematic effect that helps focus the viewer on the on the movie on the narrative on what's going on because when you shoot with a camera there are so many different colors so many different lights in one frame the viewer doesn't know where to look at right so the lots are so called a color simplification lots are used to decrease the number of different colors in the frame so the viewer uh you viewer it's it helps the viewer to see the narrative the movie what's going on instead of looking at different colors so this is just a lot let me see another one there there is a light up this let's just turn it off everything i can see this girl let's just see it is she's very dark on here so that's why I'm adding a light up effect to see her lighter. And this is very interesting because you can use masks and mask path. You see the mask path. So it tracks. I made it, I made it by hand. I made it manually. So this girl is highlighted. You see? Then one more lumetric color is lighten up legs. Here, when the frame goes down, the legs look very dark. So we adopt one more effect again with a mask, with a tracked mask. You see here, the mask is tracking. 
we're making their legs a little bit brighter because on the original row, uh, row footage uh, there is a standard shutter speed, there is a standard light sensitivity, so it goes down and the, their legs are in the shade. That's why we are adding this mask, brightening mask. And one more thing is darken leaves. Yeah, once we have highlighted, you see here, when you highlight this girl with this effect, you see, when we highlight it, now we have a problem that these green leaves are too bright. They're acid green bright. They are burning my eyes. So I want to highlight the girl, but I don't want to highlight those leaves. That's why I'm creating another lumetri color effect to darken the leaves. It looks like this. This is the mask here. Because leaves are present here in the first four seconds. So we just do like this. We just darken the leaves. You see, here is without that and with that. You see, it's too bright. It burns my eyes. I want to focus the viewer's attention on the girls, not on the leaves. That's why I'm doing this. So I'm just darkening those. And the next one is Lumetri Color is Blue Pantyhose. This original footage, look at this. The original footage, they all look pale, they all look alike. Even though these pantyhose are blue, they aren't blue enough. They're just grayish or something very unarticulated here. So to articulate the blue pantyhose, I'm adding a mask and making them blue. It looks like this. The mask, again, is tracked by hand and it highlights only the blue pantyhose. You see? So here it is, without the mask, with a mask. And finally, we have an underwear of this girl. These also look very pale, so I'm adding up her purple bra. You see? So it's again, this is a manual mask and this is tracked like this. You see? It goes like this. So now let's see again, b uh, turn all the effects off. Boom, 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 boom. And see the original row footage. The original row footage looks like this. Done. So let's turn all the effects back on and see the color processed and color retouched footage. That's done. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. This is this is exactly how long it takes. It took me one day to color process only 20 second video clip, 27 second video clip. The full movie is around two and a half hours. So I'm spending a lot of time, a lot of efforts to colorize and to present you with the great content, with the most beautiful, eye-pleasing content of Girls and Pennyos. This movie will be published probably somewhere in June or July because I'm doing this only alone with these hands. There, there is no group, big team behind me that can color process this very quickly and professionally. No, I'm doing this myself. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Click like under this video. Write your comments. Do you like color processing or not? Would you do color processing on your videos? And... Uh, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I love you guys. See you later.